There are so many places to go in this world. And so many airlines that can take you there. So we thank you. For making the journey with us. Look, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just kind of chose this airline because it was the cheapest flight at the time, you know? I didn't really care which airline I took. It, it just happened to be this one. Can we just, like, stop this video and go already? Hey, guys, it's me, Whiplash Nick. And if you've been on a plane recently, you probably know about the in-flight safety commercials that they play before you take off. And now we'd like for you to pay attention to the following safety video. And listen, I understand the usefulness, but if you've been on more than one flight, then you probably already know the rules. Buckle your fucking seatbelt, know the fucking exits, don't smoke in the fucking bathroom, and don't throw your baby out the window. That's a wrap, we nailed it. First, please fasten your seatbelt. Because remember guys, this little metal clasp and nylon rope will totally protect you from the 500 mile an hour crash and 10,000 foot drop! I'd rather take my chances chugging the Febreze, okay? I mean, am I the only one who doesn't get seatbelts in airplanes? I mean, at best it's okay for turbulence, but that's gonna do jack shit in a crash. At most, it will just help rip you in half better. If we prepare for takeoff, please be sure your seat back and tray table are up. Because remember guys, if either of these two things are not done, the entire plane will self-destruct. This is no joke. There is no jokes here. We are completely 100% serious. If you do not sit up your seat, it will cause a chain reaction that will cause in the death of everyone on board. This time, all electronic devices are off. I'm serious guys, if you forget to even turn off one of your electronics, I'm even docking the fucking headphones, then that means the plane is going to self-destruct. The TSA recommended bomb that is attached to every airplane will explode if the plane takes off and your device is on. Smoking is not allowed at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the laboratories may result in a fine. Yeah, you may have to pay for it. We don't know yet. But if you didn't turn off your fucking headphones, that means you're going to be having to pay for a lot more than just that stupid air thing. U.S. law requires passengers to comply with all signs and crew member instructions about seatbelts and smoking. Alright, serious question. Why is this woman blinking so much? Did she, like, get some mascara in her eye? Is she the pilot? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want you doing makeup while you're flying my fucking airplane. You're, like, 60 years old. You don't need to be wearing makeup anymore. That you may follow along. We have provided a safety instruction card in your seat pocket. But that whole American Airlines snooze fest aside, I found a different safety video, one by Delta Airlines, one that is so stupidly funny and so randomly internet based that I just had to show it to you guys here. So without further ado everyone, sit back, grab your complimentary peanuts, jab a fucking mascara pencil into your eye, and prepare to learn all you need to know to be safe on an airplane. Start this shit! Welcome aboard, and thanks for flying with Delta. Alright, looks like we're on an international flight. That means we're going to be here for the next 18 hours. I wonder what shitty movies and TV shows they have on here. Our first priority on every flight is safety. So before we depart, I'll be giving a brief safety presentation. Okay. What the fuck? I swear I'll never do drugs again. Be sure all carrying items are securely stowed in an overhead bin. Okay, serious question. How did this guy get through TSA? I mean, he's wearing a fucking mask. They stop you if you're carrying a fucking pair of nail clippers. He's wearing a full face mask and body suit. Look, I don't want to be racist against squirrels, but TSA, you need to step up your fucking security. And place smaller items under the seat in front of you. And ensure oh shit, I take that TSA stuff back. They have an on-flight security guard. They hired generic secret agent number five to sit there with a handcuffed briefcase slouched over in his seat like that. I bet the guy behind him fucking hates him right now for breathing down his neck the entire flight. Buy him dinner first, sir. All aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas are clear. Okay, seriously, what's going on with this plane? I mean, I can get that maybe they're flying to a furry convention in Washington, D.C., where they're going to meet Barack Obama, but I didn't think that Jesus was going to be on the plane. If you're seated at an emergency exit, please review the responsibilities for emergency exit seating on the back of the safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. Are you willing and able to assist with the operation of the exit if necessary? Hi. Hi. And now Deadliest Catch is on board too? Fuck it, why not? Here we go. If you're unable to perform these functions, please let us know, and we'd be happy to find you another seat. 
As we leave the gate, make sure your seat belt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle. And of course, Doug Dimondone from Fairly Odd Parents is on board as well. Why not? Why did you agree to be in this commercial? I mean, you're already loaded. You didn't need the money. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. And even if the sign is off, please keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience unexpected rough air. Oh shit, happy birthday. That's beautiful. Oh no. For everyone's safety, federal regulations require all passengers to comply with the posted placards and lighted information signs located throughout the cabin, in addition to any crew member instructions. Oh, God. Oh, yeah! oh God! Smoking, including the use of e-cigarettes, is not allowed on any Delta flight, and federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. For some reason, this guy reminds me of Ross from Game Grumps. I don't know why. There are 10 exits on this plane. Six doors, three on each side, and four window exits over the wings. Each door has a detachable slide that can be used as a raft. An additional raft is located in a ceiling compartment at the back of the plane. Okay, back to the normal and boring. We can handle this. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. However, if there is a loss of power and cabin visibility is reduced, Lights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you. And remember... Never mind, there's an owl on board. Why is there an owl on board? It's scaring me. It's staring into my soul! They might be behind you. <laughs> oh, I see. Because it can turn its head around. Please tell me I'm scared. It's unlikely. But if cabin pressure changes, the panels above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, reach up and pull a mask toward you. Why is Jeff Dunham's dad on board? ...until the tube is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, so don't worry if the bag doesn't... <laughs> It's literally covering the guy's eyes. I like to imagine this is how it actually works for children on these planes. It just literally pokes them in the eye the entire time while they're trying to breathe. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is also unlikely, but just in case, life vests are located under your seats in the main cabin. You see this kid? He's ready to kick your seat. He's ready to kick the fuck out of you. If you're seated in the first class or business class cabin, Life vests are either in a compartment beneath or adjacent to your seat. To use, remove the vest from its container by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Yeah, that's right. You better go away, you little shit. Slip the vest over your head. If your vest has one strap, wrap it around your waist and attach it to the buckle in front. If your vest has two straps, fasten the straps to the front of the vest and then adjust them loosely around your waist. I genuinely like how they tried to incorporate something funny into every single shot of this fucking video. I mean, behind the person trying to tell you how to wear a safety vest is Betty White and an ant from Earth Defense Force. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tabs at the bottom of the vest or manually inflate it by blowing into the tubes at shoulder level. You can activate a light by pulling down on the tab in front, but if your vest doesn't have a tab, the light will activate automatically in the water. Jesus Christ, finish up your speech already. You're causing this boy to have Benjamin Button disease in fucking reverse! Meanwhile, Jennifer back here stays miraculously fine. I'm on to you, Jennifer. I know your shit! If necessary, we'll distribute infant life vests or other flotation devices for children who weigh 35 pounds or less. This plane features Wi-Fi, and internet access will be available while we're above 10,000 feet. Activate internet. Scroll. Scroll. Favorite. You know, I get it. They're trying to make a jab at the failed Google Glass. But really, I see this as more as a 50-year-old's impression of what the internet actually is. Good job, Delta. Your CEO did us good. Now, before we take off, be sure your seat is upright, your aisle armrests are lowered, your tray table is put away, Oh no, rip off Lord Gaben just created mass genocide in Sim City. Whatever are we going to do? You flight attendant lady, you're a monster. And all carry-on items are properly stowed. And finally, 
now would be a good time for everyone to review. I like to imagine these guys were worried they were going to get sued by magazines for actually using their label in this little compliment area. So they just use seat numbers instead. Fucking fantastic, man. Hold on, seat 7E, I happen to know Jimmy was sitting in that seat, and he hates the written word, so this can't be true! The safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. You can't lie to me, I see right through it. Come on everyone, Delta exposed! On behalf of everyone at Delta Airlines, we want to thank you for paying attention. Yeah, yeah, paying attention. Is that a fucking steering wheel lock on the fucking plane?! Really? Are we taking off in the ghetto here? I didn't know that our planes were taking off in the hood. I thought that this was an airport. We're supposed to be safe. I haven't legit seen one of those things in years. I didn't think there was a need for them anymore. Yeah, it's on a fucking airplane. I didn't even think that airplane steering wheels were shaped like that. I thought it was just like a joystick that you see in the video games. Seriously, guys, let's tell Delta to stop landing in the hood. It's bad for them. No one wants to come back to their flight to see the plane on cinder blocks. Please relax and enjoy your flight. And that's it guys, fade to black, the end. You know I get that you want to try and make the video more entertaining so people watch it, but I think it just makes the message go over everyone else's heads. I mean the entire time I was looking for a Stan Lee cameo. But here guys, I want you to be safe on your next flight, so I'm going to go over all the stuff that we learned in this video to make sure that it stays with you. One, if you're going to a furry convention, no one cares if you're wearing a fursuit, especially the TSA. Two, to find the undercover cop on your flight, look for the guy doing this. Three, mass genocide is okay as long as you're Gabe Newell. Four, the runway is located right next to your local street gangs. And five, chug your Febreze at the airport because they won't allow it on the plane. And if you follow these steps on your next flight, I guarantee it will look a little something like this. Who forgot to turn off their fucking headphones? But that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this content, please hit that like button. And if you have any other suggestions for videos I should do in the future, please leave them below. I would love to rip my eyes out while viewing them. I'll give a shout out to whoever's video I pick. And if you really like this content, please hit the subscribe button and become an honorary member of the Snake Army. But that's it for today, guys. It's Whiplash, signing out. Mm -hmm.